Hey, welcome to the shortwave channel. And uh, one of the things I get often and the questions asked every time I will talk about a new radio uh, and it's the muting or the, the chuffing or whatever you want to call it that happens when you tune on a lot of the receivers today. So to give you an example of what it sounds like. So here's when I tune. You notice that the sound goes away and then fades back to full level. And that's when you're tuning the, you know, with the tuning knob. And of course, a lot of radios exhibit the same thing with up down buttons. And this is very, very characteristic of the D DSP radios today. Um, every radio that has as its main receiver, the DSP chip will exhibit uh, the same uh, fading and the same uh, muting when you tune around, which could be very annoying if you tune around in search of signals, definitely, um, compared to other radios. Now, um, somebody had an interesting comment, uh, a viewer uh, that, um, uh, you know, gets into my channels and, and listens to what I'm saying um, and says he was blind and that for him it was okay because it indicated to him that he actually was tuning around, so he kind of liked it. So, you know, there are, there are probably some positive points, um, definitely. But for most of us that, you know, tune around analog radios for a long time, it could be annoying. And I get the question all the time about, you know, are there radios today that don't mute? And yeah, there are radios that don't mute. If you get uh, Texan uh, PL680, Texan PL990, 880, uh, H501, um, these do not these do have a DSP chip in a stage of the uh, the radio, but it's not the main driver of the radio. They're still PLL driven or phase lock loop driven, so they still tune smoothly. Uh, another uh, model that that doesn't mute when you tune around, of course, is uh, the uh, the all the series of the um, um, the radios the uh, Sanjian ATS, um, you know, 909, 909X, 909X2. Uh, but they have their own quirks that people don't like. But I personally enjoy using them. And when you use an external antenna, they actually work very well. Uh, but there, there's, you know, I understand some of the flaws that people mention. But overall, with an outdoor antenna, these radios perform quite well in general. And they're beautiful. Um, these do not mute when you tune around. So this is going to be smooth. So there are some models out there, but they are a little more expensive than the standard DSP radios. The biggest problem with today's technology is that manufacturers want them to be inexpensive. And unfortunately, inexpensive now in shortwave radio means DSP. Why? Because they just have a chip. There's just limited circuit to put around it to make it work as best they can. So it basically makes the radio a lot less expensive to produce. And we're in that type of market today where inexpensive is kind of the word. And, and even when I hear the people here on the channel that wants to buy some radios, uh, inexpensive is often what I hear as people want to have radios that are not too expensive to uh to tune around but um you know texan pl680 is probably the least expensive that you can still find that is a pll driven phase lock loop driven radio uh that doesn't mute uh, but for the rest you'll have to dish a little more money like you know the uh, texan pl uh, 880 990 uh h501 and like i said the saint Jean, uh are also non-mute pretty much um, that um, is uh, what you'll get. And beware, because a lot of radios have this look or feel of being analog. They have a needle, and you might be tempting, well, you know, I'm going to buy the one with the needle. It's analog. And today's radios with needles are also DSP, and they tune and mute when you tune, exactly like the ones with a display, a digital display, because they use the same chip. 
So don't be fooled that because there's a needle, it's an analog radio. Uh, it doesn't work like that anymore. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.